am I your sweetheart? Indeed. <laughs> Do you ever wonder what would have happened had I met you first? Oh, I don't need to wonder, I know. Oh, good, I'm so curious, tell me. We would have married. I knew it. If we'd married, we'd be the picture of happiness. <laughs> then sounds too convincing right there. Yeah, welcome back to GMA3. That was the brilliantly funny Emmy Award winning actor Eric McCormack in the brand new Broadway show, The Cottage. It is a romantic comedy about love and betrayal and the hilarious web of secrets that threatens to unravel throughout the night. Eric McCormack joins us right now to tell us more. And it is so good to see you. Congratulations. So, how does it feel to be back on Broadway? Uh, I love it so much. I'm a theater kid. You know, I, from 18 to 28, it was nothing but, but theater in mm -hmm. Canada. And so uh, when I'm on the boards here and walking down the street, going and passing people, passing other actors, going, hey, go to your show? Me too. <laughs> <Just kidding. laughs> Good morning, Sam. Good morning, y'all. Uh, it's, uh, it's fantastic. Um, can we talk about your character? Um, he has a very strong look, let's call it that. I mean, the mustache. Indeed. The, I mean, like, he's wearing a robe, but there's not a whole lot of real clothing going on. Did, ha, did you decide to go for that look? No, I mean, the, from the moment, the, the first 15 minutes uh, are Laura Bill Bundy and I in our underwear, basically. And, um, <clears throat> but it takes place 100 years ago, so he's in, he's in socks and slippers and these great little garters, which I just think are hilarious. Uh, and this very lovely robe that constantly gets commented on. Uh, but the look, I, I realize this guy has to be sort of Clark Gable. He fancies himself Errol Flynn very much. So, so it's really fun to have the mustache on stage. This is not a great mustache to have walking down the street. <laughs> like, what does your wife think of this Yeah, mustache? well, luckily my wife said, I'm going to be in Los Angeles, so don't worry about it. Grow whatever you want. But, but walking past people on the street and you smile at them, and they're kind of like... Oh, they're already oh, dialing 911. I just look, I look very, very creepy. <laughs> I just, potato head. A little bit of a potato oh. head. If only I could pull it off like that every night. I... So uh, we're looking at the uh, cover of the Playbill, which is mm -hmm. incredible. The, the musical and the play takes place at the Hayes Theater. Right. Uh, the, uh, it it but, is not a musical. It, it feels the, like a musical yeah. because it is the, that kind of crazy fun. And what's really fun about it is it feels familiar if you know uh, Noel Coward or uh, uh, that style of comedy. You think you've seen it before you haven't. This is a brand new play written uh, by Sandy Rustin, who's a young American woman that just wanted to write a really funny British farce. But I wanted to ask you about another Hayes in your life, your friend, ah, Will yes. co-star, Sean Hayes. I said to him, you know, I, I'm at the it, Hayes Theater. The least you could do is change your theater's name to <laughs> <laughs> so the right. McCormack. So you're doing this this rewatch podcast called Just Jack and Will. Mm -hmm. what, what has it been like to kind of go back and do look at some of those past episodes? And, and you know, we've, we've stayed in touch. We've stayed friends. At, we, we've had these great lunches together. And, and one day, as he was creating yet another podcast. He said, what would we do together? I said, uh, well, we could rewatch Will and Grace. He said, I've never really watched it. <laughs> I said, what? And it's true, he just didn't. He's one of those actors that just didn't. So it's kind of, it's a rewatch for me. It's a watch for him. It's yeah. a first time. And so we're, uh, I'm experiencing him experiencing oh, it, which has been fun. really fun. That's really fun. So cool. He uh, he's also on a show. Have you gone to see his show? Has he come to see oh, yours? Oh yeah. Well, so his show closes this week. Uh, sad for those that didn't get to see it. He's brilliant in Good Night Oscar. I saw. I surprised him in Chicago last year because I knew he was doing the show and uh, sort of showed up in in, uh, in the audience one night. And I told him that night, "You're going to win the Tony for this," and he did. Uh, but it's been really fun. To be on the set, not only in, in New York at the same time, we're both on 44th Street doing theater every night. And, and every night there's people outside the stage door going, we went to see Sean last night. Or, or they'll t tell Sean, we're going to see you at the cottage tomorrow. It's, it's really been... All right, well, you might see connected. us in the front row. <laughs> oh, I'm dying you to are. see it. Dying to With the mustache. Maybe not front row. <laughs> <laughs> good to see you as well. Nobody was. Good to see you. Again, Eric McCormack, thank you so much for joining us. Later. And the cottage is playing now at the Helen Hayes Theater right here in New York City. Well, hey there, GMA fans. Robin Roberts here. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Lots of great stuff here. So go on, click the subscribe button right over, right over here to get more of awesome videos and content from GMA every day, anytime. We thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the morning on GMA.